Hi there, my name's Rich Severson, and we are going to compare two iconic guitars. This right here is a Howard Roberts Epiphone, a 1966, and we are going to compare it with a Howard Roberts, Gibson Howard Roberts, 1976. Now, Howard designed these guitars. Uh, they're, they're quite a bit different, though. All right, let's first uh, tell you what. Let's first play a little something on here so you can hear it, okay? What the heck, you know? So that's it, uh, playing finger style. How about some stuff with a pick? I've got the action pretty low on this. Uh, let's play some octaves. So it's got a nice breathy octave sound and uh, some single note. Some single note. Okay, come on. Play some single note. So there it is. It's got a pretty good bass response. It's got a nice top end. This is a Johnny Smith pickup. This is a solid top. It's built off the L4 format. So solid spruce top, maple sides and back. Um, this one is in gorgeous shape. There, uh, it almost looks like there's a bunch of new parts on it. But there really isn't and uh, it's a beautiful guitar uh, again it's 66 67 68 69 somewhere around in there i couldn't quite get the exact date on it this has tunematic and uh, there you have it it has very low frets very low and uh, but you know what i've gotten used to them used to hate them but now i i like them and uh, this is also 24 and 3 quarters scale length. So 1 and 11 16 nut width. I had one of these before, and that was a, I just wanted one of these ever since I was in college following Howard Roberts. And I finally got one, and then it wasn't too long after I got it, and I knocked it over and busted the headstock and had to have it repaired. So, um, now let's take a look at the Gibson, shall we? All right, here's a 76 Gibson. I need a little more lighting on that headstock, don't I? Anyway, this is built off of the 175 format. So this is uh, um, a laminate top, sides and back. It's got the full humbucker on it. And it also has a couple of other gizmos here. It's got a treble boost and cut, I believe, or mid-range boost and cut. I don't, I forget. You turn the knobs until you like it. And, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> but let me, let me demonstrate the knobs a second. Uh, here, here they all are wide open, okay? So this one, treble, cut, a little scratchy. This is a mid-range. So it can, it can really get kind of a mellow, pretty sound.
this particular one um, uh, has been the the pick guard has been gassing off, um, and so uh, I uh, you don't want to keep those in the case. So you're going to get a big surprise one of these days when you when you open it up, and you see corrosion all over the place. So the pickup on this one is still nice and uh, and uh, still stable. It's just gassing off. Keep it in a room where it's not, where you got some fresh air around it. So um, scale length on this is 25 and a half. This also has the volute in the back, so you you don't bust off that headstock when you drop it. You see that friend of mine, Mitch Holder, I said, uh, gee, I don't know if I like that flute. And he says, you'll like it when you knock your guitar over. <laughs> so that's the truth. So uh, let's hear this, shall we? sounding guitar isn't it uh, again they, you know they built them with low frets it's got low frets hey there you have it hold on a second these are both strung up the same with uh, extra light flat uh, wounds except for the two top strings I, I put a 13 and a 15 on and so I got a heavier top skinnier bottom I think it's easier to maneuver um, let's play um, some single note stuff. Let's see. Um, I want to have a little more bite to this. So, little difference in sound, right? And uh, this is definitely the prettier of the two, right? But hey, nothing against you, okay? You're you're still doing okay. I uh, I really like this guitar. I've always wanted the Epiphone, and I always wanted one of these. But uh, so I got them at this point. And uh, anyway, so there it is. You know, I don't think you can go wrong with the Howard Roberts model. Um, I, I uh, you know, checked out, I've played over the past some of the uh, other ones, the um, newer Epiphone, the Made in Japan ones and all that. They're okay. When you pick them up, you realize, oh gosh, it's Made in Japan. Uh, it's got that, just that feel. This, by far, is heavier than this, by far. So it's uh, kind of weird. But anyway, you can't go wrong with the Howard Roberts guitar. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. I'll talk at you later. Bye for now. Adios. Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for watching. And if you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can see all the guitar videos I put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, 
I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. And if you want to learn jazz, hey, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. You'll see the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.